Welcome to Red Hawk Nation. My name is Jennifer Jones and I'm the Executive Director for the Catawba Valley Community College Foundation. We are a separate 501c3 organization uh, that is, exists solely to support the needs of Com Catawba Valley Community College and our students. We do that through several means and one of those is through our Red Hawk Fund. Each year we do a campaign called the Red Hawk Fund that helps support the most urgent needs across our campus including all the schools that you see listed here and some of the other programs as well. Some of you may be involved with our Skills USA program or perhaps use services in the Small Business Center and the Foundation helps support each of those areas on campus. Those also include student activities like our Red Hawk Athletics and our Office of Student Engagement and Diversity, our Key Day, as well as the Office of Red Hawk Help and Red Hawk Publishing, which is the publishing arm of the college. One of the ways that we support our athletics programs is through our Booster Club. If you have an interest in joining the Booster Club, have a family member or a neighbor or a friend that would like to join, please have them stop by the Foundation office so that we can get them signed up to participate with Hawks Heroes. We also pursue grants that help meet the funding needs around the college for program expansion, for equipment. Uh, we recently received a grant for $600,000 to help fund new mannequins for our Valley Sim Hospital. And so these grants can have a huge impact on the program that you're involved in. And so we, um, we are always out looking for the next possibility in a grant to help meet the needs of the college and the programs in which you are enrolled. This is the slide most students are most interested in. That's our scholarship program. Thanks to the generosity of our donors here in this area and beyond, we're able to offer scholarships to students. Each of our donors set the scholarship requirements. And uh, we have a few dates that I want to call your attention to. Uh, we have actually have a rolling application period, but we give priority for fall semester for students who submit their application for a scholarship between December 1 and February 28. And our spring application is currently open. It's August 1st to October 31st. Please be sure and check your Red Hawk email um, for important dates and reminders about scholarships and application deadlines. We encourage you to submit an application for the spring now if that would be helpful. Let me tell you a little bit about our packet. So uh, the QR code you have on your screen here will take you right to our online application. It's a really short application. A few fill in the, few in, fill in the blanks and then also a few check boxes on there. The um, packet includes that online application as well as a copy of your high school transcript and your college transcript. So let me stop there and encourage you to, to fill out this application on a computer rather than a phone. It'll be much easier to upload these documents uh, through a computer than, an, than on your phone. If you have attended college previously, even if it was through the Career and College Promise uh, program, we do need you to include your uh, college transcript as well. The next piece that it'll ask you to upload is a 500 word essay. That's about a page long. Please be sure to give me a little more than a paragraph. I need to know uh, lots of information about you in order to determine if you qualify for our scholarships. In that essay, we are asking you to share a little bit about yourself. Some of our scholarships are county specific, so it's important for you to let me know where you live. Also, our donors are interested in knowing how you give back to the community where you live. So perhaps you volunteer at your church or at the soup kitchen, maybe you mow an elderly lady's lawn in your neighborhood. Just tell us a little bit about how you give back to the community in which you live. We also ask that you share with us your goals. Our donors are interested in knowing what your educational goals are as well as your career goals. So perhaps you are enrolled in the dental hygiene program and you plan to finish up your program here at CVCC, work in a dental office for a little while, and then maybe go back to school and become a dentist. Please tell us about that. Provide us information with your short-term career goals and education goals as well as your long-term goals. Also, we would like for you to talk to us about your need and how this scholarship will help you accomplish those goals. That is one of the requirements for some of our, our uh, scholarships, so be sure you talk to us a little bit about how the scholarship will help you reach those goals. And the last piece is your FAFSA award. I understand there's going to be some changes coming to the FAFSA application, but for our spring application period, you can upload for us the screen that you got when you submitted your FAFSA application. On that screen, it pops up at the end and it says your expected family contribution is, and there's a number there. And then underneath that, there's a paragraph that says you qualify for Pell Grant in the amount of, or you might qualify for Pell Grant in the amount of. And underneath that, there may be another paragraph that says you do not qualify for federal aid. 
regardless of whether or not you qualify for federal financial aid, you are still eligible to apply for CVCC Foundation scholarships. So don't let that hold you back. It is important, however, that we have that documentation because some of our scholarships are based on need. So again, our online application, our high school, your high school or college transcript or both, 500 word essay and your FAFSA documentation. The number one reason students don't receive a CVCC scholarship, CVCC Foundation scholarship is because they don't apply. So please make sure that you apply because you may qualify for one of our, our scholarships. The number two reason is because they don't submit a complete packet. Please be sure that you complete all that is required for the packet so that your application can be considered. If we do not receive a complete packet, your application will not be considered for a scholarship. And then when you finish up your program, we encourage you to join our Alumni Association. This is our way of staying in touch with you and keeping you informed about what's happening, happening in Red Hawk Nation as well as keeping up with what's happening in your life and how you're doing and achieving your goals. Our donors are very passionate about serving our students and they're very invested in you. They care about what your goals are and they care about you meeting those and they like to hear your stories. So by joining the Alumni Association, you can help us tell your story and keep our donors engaged so that we can um, hopefully encourage them to continue to support the CVCC Foundation for future Red Hawk generations to come. We also have a few alumni events throughout the year that you'll uh, learn about through our alumni newsletter and some discounts. So please be sure to join the Alumni Association when you finish your program. The Foundation office is located on the first floor of the CAD building. That's the Kyler A. Dunbar building. Just behind the registration desk on the left are double doors. If you enter through those doors, that's where our offices are. We're here to serve you and help you any way that we can. Please don't hesitate to drop by if we can answer any questions for you, help you find a classroom, or find out who you need to talk to when you need some help. We look forward to meeting you, and it's our privilege to serve you. Welcome to Red Hawk Nation.